English breakfast mukbang. Let's do this. Right, so today I have another English breakfast mukbang. Hope you guys are doing well. So today I have two eggs, two sausages, baked beans, some tomato as well, tomatoes, whatever you want to call it. I got some fried toast. Got some really strange. This is actually not bacon. This is egg. This is egg bacon. It's made out of egg. Um. Anyways, let's start this video off. Hope you guys are doing well. Let's do this, man. Vegetarian, by the way. Whew, this is good, man. Mm. Got me some tea, mate. You know who it is, mate. Got some crumpets and tea. I got some tea. Got some pineapple. Oh, this is not. Oh, Jesus, no pineapple. Idiot. This is Sheena's apple. Not sure what it's called in English. I don't really care, man. I'm hungry. Didn't eat a lot today, so don't moan in, moan in the comments saying, Why are you eating so fast? Because I can. Leave me alone. Got some Heinz ketchup. Biological version. It's not bad, don't get me wrong. Got some toast. And it's, you want to stop zooming in? Okay, let's do this, man. Look at that. Got some Heinz. Got some baked beans, like I said. Baked beans are typical English things. You're not going to see this in, in some stores here. Alright, so anyways, I want to talk about something. Um, can I first say off? I'm trying tea for the first time in, in a long time. I don't normally eat tea. I'm not a big fan of tea in general. It's a very boring blend. Mm. Mm. Let's try the ketchup, man. Mm. So let's try it out. I don't know what it's supposed what I'm supposed to do with it. I'm supposed to mix it, I think. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's delicious man. Thank you, Dad. So I've seen quite a lot of people. Oh! Well fuck yeah, I wanna talk about that. Mmm. Rotterdam is the first vegetarian KFC in the world. Yes, let's go, man. We vegetarians and vegans are ruling over. Wow. But anyways, so the first vegetarian KFC restaurant in the world is in Rotterdam. That's great. Because now I can make KFC mukbangs without having to worry about eating chicken. Now I can finally have vegetarian food. Great. I love that. I like the fact they did that. Mm. Let's cover it up. Come on, come on. So we're going to see if we can make a KFC mukbang soon as well. I'm definitely going to try and see if they still got it. Because it's a tryout week, so I'm not sure if it's going to be forever though. I don't know. Got some smoky barbecue. I don't think I'm going to use this, man, big Sam. I'm gonna see. So I, I had driverless today. I was kind of annoyed today, man, with driving because, look, he's, he's learning me. Don't get me wrong, but there was just, there was room on the road, and I was like, why am I supposed to stop? It's for room, I'm like, dude, that's that's room enough. But that's not the thing. The thing is, at a, if you don't do it at exams, you fail automatically. It's weird. I know it makes no sense, but it is how it is. So I was kind of annoyed today. I'm like. Why? Why am I supposed to stop if I know that there's enough room for both of us to pass, you know? It doesn't matter, man. Just so that you know. It's kind of right there, but still. If you know that you can go, then I don't see the point of stopping. Wow. The toast is amazing, man. I mean, check this out. It's very thin. It's white bread. I know I had brown bread the last time, I think. 
Look at that. That's so good, man. The white bread is, I think, not the... I think, uh, isn't white bread or brown bread the best healthiest, I think? It's one of the two. What I always love to do with my English food, oh shit, is to put it on the, on the, I don't know what this is, piece of bread, and eat it with baked beans. Yep, that hits the spot, man. Yeah, your boy found the perfect one. I mean, the egg, so this is not even bacon, this is egg. This is fully made 100% out of egg. It looks like bacon. It doesn't taste like bacon, but it, well, it, it tastes like barbecue sauce, but it comes pretty close. Good thing, I'm going to use some water, man. Honestly, how you make them? I don't know how you make them, but they're made from eggs. You gotta put them in the oven. That yeah, it's good. First time ever. Never had it. Hmm. It's very sweet. It's nice. I think everybody loves baked beans, and I think. It, look, if you're English and you don't like baked beans, are you even English? I don't know. In my opinion, you ain't English then, man. If you don't even like baked beans, there's something wrong with you at that point. No seriousness, if you don't like baked beans, there's really something wrong with you. The same thing as somebody never seen Spongebob. My man, you ain't had a child with them. Anyways. Um. Look as if I dropped this album. I turn it take. Now, I'm gonna just be very honest. I... Don't really listen to Uzi Vert. I'm not a big fan of his music. Nonetheless, uh, Eterna, it, it, it take or take dropped last Friday. After three years. <laughs> Took a while, I guess. Label issues and then, you know, rights and copyrights. But uh, people are very disappointed. Some people said, it's fucking terrible. So I thought, I mean, I was like, hmm, a lot of people are saying it's bad in this comments. I'm like, okay, well, let's try it out myself. And even I have to admit, Huh, kind of boring. You know, it's not my style of music. Boring, man. I don't like his voice. It's too much auto-tune. Like, way too much auto-tune. But, um, yeah, look, my opinion is, I mean, look, it's not my type of music. Like, everybody has their own taste. I, myself, may not find it good or interesting. But at the same time, another person can find it really nice to say... This is definitely worth a three years wait. It's best album ever. Everybody their own opinion. It's your personal preference, but... I'm not going to say it sucks, because it didn't totally suck, but... It didn't blow my mind away. I only listened to, like, three songs of, of, of his whole album. I was like... Fuck, this is boring. You know, I don't like when an artist doesn't mix up their flow or their beats. I like when an artist mix, mixes up his flow. It was like Key Glock and Young Dolph do. I like them when they, when they, when they switch the flow up. Because you all know Key Glock and Young Dolph. I mean, Key Glock has that aggression mode. Like, he goes full aggression on the beat. Young Dolph is more a guy you, like, chill with. But also go hard and vibe at the same time, you know? I've been listening to them for almost two years. So don't you say I'm not a real fan. Glock season, I've been there since that one. Let's compare Key Glock's Yellow Tape with Eternal Take. I know, it's not really comparable. But still, I want to compare them on the left. The thing is with Key Glock, Key Glock is very... Aggressive at some points of his songs, and also very chill, like a very nice chill beat, and I like that. However, I listened to three of the songs of Eternal Take from the Uzi Vert. Was boring. I, I really got bored. The same beat, you know. I don't think you really can, should compare them, but you know, I can always, you can always compare people with each other. You know. Even though Lil Uzi Vert is, I think, yeah, still bigger than Key Glock. Nonetheless, I want to talk about 6 9 Now, apparently, 6 9 is getting released out of prison on the 2nd of August. My guy is fucked, dude. I'm just saying it very honest. He's going to have a difficult. I'm really 
worried about six nine, and you're probably wondering, pff, you're gonna defend this uh, rap. Being me, being honest, I would have snitched everyone in that room as well if it was me in the decision. If some man, if the people that I thought were like good with me try to set me up and fuck me over for some stuff, yeah, I'll definitely snitch. I'm gonna be very honest. If somebody would do that to me, I'll snitch. I'll snitch everyone in that single room. So I do not blame six nine. However, I must say. It's very dangerous for 6 9 because he's not a real blood, he's not affiliated with blood. He, he, he actually used to be a cameraman back in the days, like a long, long time ago. Before all the face tats and like that rainbow color hair, you know, this and that. He actually used to be a a cameraman, believe it or not. <laughs> very crazy how people can change, you know, what stuff can do with people. Money and fame, etc. But now, I think his whole persona was not real, man. It's not who he really is. I think he's really a... Well, I think 6 9 is really not about that life. I mean, we all kind of know that, right? It's not about that life. You know, he just isn't. But yeah, he got set up by uh, his manager, Trey Ray. I think Shadi, I think it was. I don't know, man. They're all in prison. You don't hear nothing about them. It's been a while since I heard something about 6 9 in the first place. But yeah, yes, today I heard it for the first time. I'm like, damn, this boy's going to get released 2nd of August. I have a feeling he's either going to get killed or he's going to go off the world, like off the map. Like change his full identity because my guy is not safe man mm -mm. he's not safe at all dude no nah, man especially with these real people on that that especially with these people that really are about their life compared to him they're gonna try and hunt and kill him man and i'm just saying it right now though i'm not gonna be surprised if i see him reportedly shot and dead in the news in less than two weeks and i'm being very honest with you I really think he doesn't have a high chance of surviving. Because if he had, because he'll need security 24-7. And, and that's going to cost him at least a million, a million dollars a year. And I don't think he has that money yet. <laughs> but hey, she, who, who knows, man. But honestly, when 6 9, when six nine comes out, it's going to be the hardest again. It's going to be the hardest artist again. You know, people are hating on him and saying, ah, he's a snitch, isn't that? Yeah, he's a snitch, but I think 9 out of 10 of the people that are saying that would probably also snitch. I mean, hey, I always say, your life or another one. It's about you, TNZ, not about the other person. So, um, um, he's going to be the number one. Because at an eventual point, he was, 6 9 was spoken about more than Drake, more than Kenneth Lamar. Talking about Kenneth Lamar, he, he hasn't dropped a music long long man i think three years already i wonder where he is i, th I think it now nah, he can't be dead right i don't know but i don't hear anything about kenny glamour anymore like music wise i do know that he wanted to be a politician or was trying to be a politician i think anyways to six nine at the venture point he was bigger fuck my guy was even eventually bigger than drake and all these other people even brazilian he was bigger than these brazilian and spanish rappers and then you're thinking shit for a foodie clown, he doing pretty good. Even if his persona is all, is all faked. You can't deny, man. He was hot. He was one of the hottest artists at the, at a point. For, for I think, a year, a year. So, when he comes back, he's gonna... He's gonna... He's gonna destroy the whole rap game. Like him or not. But he is just gonna. And I have, and I know that. And I'm saying it's a fact. Everybody clowned him, you know, you've got all these rappers. I want to take a boogie, a boogie with a hoogie as an example. You know, uh, I think it was 20, 20, 2018, yeah, no, 2018. When he um, had his album dropped, I think 26th or 25th of December 2018, I think, a boogie with a hoogie. The, the song called Swerving featuring 6 ix 9 Now, before he dropped that video, or that, that audio back in the day, it was 6 ix 9 A boogie with a hoogie. My guy's career was... Yeah, you know, like eh, yeah, not too bad, but also not too good. And when he dropped that 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 album episode with 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 six nine, whoop, everything went up. It sells everything, blah 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 blah. And now you know it's quite funny seeing Boogie with the hook saying, "Yeah, he's a snitch." This and that, you know, I don't fuck with him anymore. And then I'm here thinking, you do realize that six nine basically reanimated your whole your career because you 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 my my guy, your career was fucking dead before six nine came. Back in your back in your album. Now I'm just saying, very honest, because Boogie Wotogi wasn't popping then anymore. 
really. And not, no, no, and New York only doesn't count. No, I'm talking about other countries. I know New York is a place, but that's where he's from. Boogie with Doogie wasn't popping. And when he dropped the, the album, including 6 9 on it, bam, everything went up. And since then, you know, people have been thinking this about 6 9 And then, like, people say 6 9 is relevant, yet people are talking about him 24 7. So, is he really irrelevant? No, man, 6 9 isn't irrelevant. 6 9 is never going to be irrelevant, I think. He's a really. It's the same with, with 50 Cent. 50 Cent will never be a relevant thing, I think. Same with Snoop Dogg, Ice Cube, Dr. Drake. Because they are. I don't know, I, I don't want to compare them, but. They've been in the game, what? Snoop Dogg's been in the game for 20 years or something. The same with the other ones. Why? Because they're businessmen. They do other stuff besides rap. Because rap careers don't la last long. That's why 50 Cent got into acting. Ice Cube, uh, Dr. Dre, I think, both got into acting. Or the son of Dre or Ice Cube got into acting as well. And 6 9 nonetheless, even if he doesn't rap, he's going to be big and stay big nonetheless. But let me know down in the comments your opinion on this whole 6 9 thing. I can't wait till he gets back. And I'm... And I can't wait until somebody posts a picture of him on his Instagram because I Instagram is boring without six nine. I must admit, it's really been boring without six nine. So yeah, I'm gonna end this uh, English breakfast mapping. I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. Um, this was typical English. There's nothing no typical English about it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this mukbang nonetheless. Uh, tomorrow on lovely ASMR S, I have an ASMR morning wood video coming out. Sounds weird, it does, but it's not what you think it is. Tomorrow, I love the ASMR S. I hope you guys enjoyed the video nonetheless. And I'll check you out tomorrow with a brand new ASMR, man. Peace.